Hey guys, it's me Jaden and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I figured that we would do something a little more like dance related. So I figured why not go into my dance bag and see all the goodies that I keep in here. I, um, before quarantine, strained my shoulder and it had been acting up a little bit and my mom and I figured out that it was probably my old dance bag, which was packed with everything, like everything in here, plus like a bunch of other items. <laughs> so I recently downsized, but I can't fit everything that I need in a whole week into this smaller bag. So I will also show you some of the stuff that I have to like change in and out during the week and just show you guys everything that goes into my bag during the week. So first, I'll show this way. We first have this big, you compartment. So I'm just gonna open that up. And I'm gonna show you guys just all the stuff that I have in here. So the first first thing is actually kind of smaller. It is an iPod iPod Gen iPod Touch Generation 6. It's tiny. It thinks it's oh wait, it actually is August 28th. It thinks it's oh it actually is 953. Okay. So literally all it's used for is my music that I have because the way that I get my Apple music um, does not transfer my music onto my other phone. So I use this whenever I wanna like improv and record it so that I can play the music off of here because Apple has yet to make it so that you can be playing music from your phone and listening or and actually recording at the same time. So I have to use another device. So I just carry this. So it just does music, which is really nice. The next thing that goes in with that is my JLab wireless headphones. These are amazing for when I go to work out or when I do my warm up or when I'm improving in a place where there are other people and I can't just play my music out. So these are a huge recommendation. They say JLab at the top and then they have the symbol on the side and they're just blue and gray. I got them for Christmas one year and I love these things. So as a dancer, I get very sweaty. So I have degree sport. I'm sure that this is actually the men's deodorant. I personally enjoy men's deodorant. I like the way it stays on. This one is the like white material. I don't know if you know what I mean, like that. But um, I prefer the gel, so this is just like a last case, like if I need something emergency-wise. And then I have a little toe pad, like gel. I'll show you. It's like gel, um, but skin flesh tone. So that's just like for if I need it for point or something, if my bunions or if I have a like a really bad like tender place on my foot, I'll just put that and it'll provide a little more squish between that and the foot shoe. So next we have my little hand roller. So this is Soothe by a pen. It's old, so it's kind of like coming off. I don't know if that focus, but it's just this like maroon ball that's like in this little white um, holder and you just use your hand to like massage a muscle and like put pressure on it. So you get more pressure than you would like using a tennis ball in my opinion. I don't use this all the time, but it's nice to have just in case I need to roll out a specific muscle before class. So next we get into tights. I have two pairs. So I have my full length transition tights that I use anytime that I have point. And then I recently have decided to try out the thigh tights. So they like cut off right above the knee. And this is just for like ballet and all that jazz. So I carry two pairs because in the event of an emergency, you always want to have a backup pair. So I think it might. Um, I don't always have these in my bag. Um, I usually carry them for Tuesdays, but I always make sure to put a pair in at the beginning of the week so that I don't forget. These are just socks. I use them a tap. I'll show you what they have on them. They're breakfast socks. They have like bacon, eggs, and toast, and they're just so cute. 
So I have those in here for tab because um, you never know when you're gonna need socks. Um, sometimes I don't wanna ruffle through my bag to find the socks that I wore, so I'll just grab a pair that I have. And then along with socks, I have fuzzy socks. These are Christmas socks. Um, they just have like snowmen on them. They're really cute and they're fuzzy, but not like too thick. So I wear these when I'm warming up and at the beginning of class, I just wear them over top of my ballet flats and it helps because I don't have great circulation. So my feet and my thighs are always very cold. So I always make sure to have these so they can help warm up my feet, especially when I have point, like point right afterwards so that my feet will be completely warm and ready for point. Speaking of circulation and warming up, I have my, um, these are like, mini, like not mini leggings, but like they're the spandex like leggings material, but they're just like knee high, so like, or knee length. So they cut off like right above the knee. And these, I just wear these usually until round drums to help keep my thighs warm and get them warmed up because it is the slowest part of my body to warm up and it takes forever for them to warm up. So anything I can do really just helps that. So I like having these. I can't wear them in all of my classes, but the classes I can, I like to, to just make sure that I don't have anything that could cause an injury. So my studio requires the level I'm at, which is the pre-professional level, requires a black leotard. So I have my just zip up front quarter of it. I guess it's a half zip. Um, leotard i love this so much it's so comfortable and uh, for five dollars at our studio sale there's i don't know if there's a tag on it or not well if you want me to do a leotard collection i will try and figure out where all of these leotards came from and then just let me know in the comments if you want that so i can tell you where to get all my leotards and you just kind of can figure that out yeah so this is just plain black i love my black little tarts, <laughs> kind of my favorite. <laughs> okay, so next I just have these, oh, for a they are no boundaries. They're small, but they are just dance shorts. They're like the, um, like the sweatpants material, so they're like cotton and they are, these are, yeah. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. And I wear these all the time, whether it's to dance or from dance. And then on Tuesdays, I wear these for tap and stretching and conditioning just because I don't like wearing leggings or a skirt. So I wear shorts, but we can't wear them in technique, obviously. So there's that. So one of the only like warmups I have for my top is just my vest. It is old navy, extra small, but I got it at Plato's Closet. So it is just a thin, like, thin, lightweight vest. Um, it is really nice warming up. I wear it whenever I do my warm ups before class. And then if I'm still really cold, I'll wear it for plies, but I don't wear it past that because I know that, like, you have to be able to see, like, everything. So I just wear it for plies to help me warm up because it warms me up really fast. Then the last warm-ups that I have, I think. Yeah, the last warm-ups in this compartment are my leg warmers. They're stirrups, they're 27 inch. I need to get the 47 inch and I'm working on that. <laughs> but right now all I have are the 47 inches. So, or 27 inches. So as you can see, they're very long. Um, by 27 inch, it means that this top five part stretches out to 27 inches. So if you have smaller thighs, this will work, but I have muscular thighs, so I'm trying to get leg warmers so I don't have to wear those thigh warm-ups anymore because if my leg warmers come up all the way, then I can wear them in every single class, which is nice. But I really love these. They're just really cute and comfy. I got these off Discount Dance for like 11 bucks. I highly recommend getting them. So now we'll move on to shoes. So I only keep two pairs in here for like all the time which are my Capizio Hanami ballet flats, which I love these things. They're like my go-to ballet shoe. I've tried other shoes. They're split sole, they're canvas, they're double crossed, double elastic. And 
these just like really fit my feet the best they hold and mulch my feet and kind of like suck in like they're not baggy in any way so they're really good for like turning and just everything so if you're looking for a good brand i highly recommend capizio nami's they are best and last but not least for shoes we have my point shoes i wear game at mindens they are nine narrow four nine narrow four box supple shank deep vamp high heel although these are not my normal usually i wear a low heel i do not like the high heel but it's okay because i needed these in a pinch so these are my backup shoes and they work for now so um i have two pairs in here so i have my like normal everyday pair which like still look really nice well not on the bottom, but, or the back, <laughs> but, like, they still have the, like, pretty pink color. And then I have my, um, backup pair, which I needed for competitions, so they are pancaked. And one thing that I do to my point shoes, I know, like, it's really hard with gainers because of the material that this bottom is, like, it's kind of weird, but, um, I shave down the sides like right here so that it's just flatter and it's easier to balance so if you want a like what i do to my point shoes to like get them ready for my feet because like with gainers you don't really have to break them in let me know if you want that because it is a different experience for gainers that's that is facts right there but i still do some stuff to kind of like make them more like ready for my feet so that's that. And then the last thing that we have in the big compartment is my notebook. So this notebook has my class schedule, the shoes, leotards, tights that I need, and then some of my semester goals. So you can just see it's because this um, changes color. So I'm at the pink right now. And then I have some correction and important dates on this side and I need to continue writing down my corrections so yeah. so now we move on to this smaller pocket so I love this pocket this was just laying in the big pocket but I normally keep it in the smaller pocket it is Tylenol so let's keep a small bottle for in case I have cramps or bad headaches because sometimes if I'm too dehydrated then I'll get like a really bad like head rush and it just hurts to like do anything so I just have Tylenol just in case because you never know what can happen and then the next thing which I always will need in our studio is masks I have three so this one is obviously just a medical mask it was given to me when I forgot my mask so I just always keep it in here so that I have one in case I forget my other ones which they hand them out if we forget them, so it's, it's okay. And then I have the one that I use for dancing, which is just this like pink sparkly one, which I really like. And then I have my like mask that we wear when we're in the studio, which is just blue and it's really cute. It has like all these like little flowers and stuff on them, but I think it's really cute. So this is like my favorite mask. So those are my masks, cause obviously you have to have them. And then these are really, really tangled, but I always have a pair of wired headphones just in case I don't want to use my wireless and I need to like lounge or something. Then I always, always have this um, 100 calorie pack of cashews. I don't really have snacks at the studio, but in case of emergency, if I haven't had anything and I need something, this is my go-to just because it's like always floating in my bag. So then we move on to TheraBand. That's not supposed to come out yet. Um, so I have this really strong TheraBand. It's from TJ Maxx. And it is really good durability, actually. The brand is Bali, B A L L Y, Total Fitness. So in the package, it comes with three. There's 
a red one, which is the light one, yellow, medium, and blue is strong. So I, after quarantine, I worked my way back up instead of just jumping straight into strong, and I recommend that if you haven't gone back yet, work your way back up, because I know a lot of people haven't been dancing as much. So really just take it easy and listen to your body when you're working back in. Next, I have, this came in a set of two, so I'm gonna show the big one first, I'm sure some of you know already, but it is my loop band. So this is the brand Tolby, T-O-L-B-I. I just got this off of Amazon. You can see this is the brand logo. Um, I just got this off of Amazon for 15 bucks and it came as a set, so you get a big one but then you also get this smaller one that goes like above your knees and it's good for just like when you're doing squats or clamshells or like anything to work on inner thighs. So I definitely recommend getting these. They're kind of a game changer when it comes to um, resistance bands. And like I said, they're only 15 for the two of them and they've held up really well. So one of the last things I have are my hair nets. I just keep them in this little q-tip container but I have I have been recently doing them, my hair in a french twist so I haven't needed them but in an emergency I like to have them I normally have my bobby pins in here but I used them last night so I haven't gotten around to like putting them back in because I don't need them until tomorrow but I come from straight from home so I just have them upstairs ready to go so these are just in case I ever want to do or need a hairnet for some reason for a bun. I mean, better safe than sorry. And then the last thing that I have is um, two Benadryl because like I said in my making protein bars video, which you should totally watch if you haven't yet, I have alpha gel. So if there's something that I've accidentally ingested or that's been cross contaminated and I start having a reaction, I need to have Benadryl on me in case of that. So usually I'll carry my EpiPen or if I like am going somewhere where I know there's no access to Benadryl, I'll carry Benadryl on an EpiPen. But usually if it's just like dance or something, I'll just carry Benadryl on me. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the stuff that will come in and out of my dance bag throughout the week. On Tuesdays, I have tap. So obviously I have to have my tap shoes. These are block tap shoes. Um, don't know what size because I got them used um, since it was my first year of tap. I figured I'd like a pair that um, has like that's flexible and all that. So I really like them. They're already kind of broken in, but I still like have kind of molded them to my feet a little bit just by going up on them. So I really like these. If you're looking for a shoe, I recommend Block because. Okay, for me, they remind me of like an Irish step dance shoe, which if you didn't know, I used to do when I was younger. So I like the like leather and then like how flexible it is. But if you need a harder shoe, then like, of course, there are other companies that make those as well. On Wednesdays, I have international character dance. So the first thing I need is a long black skirt, which we aren't required to have, but I personally like having it because there's a lot of like swooshing up skirts and it's just easier to have a long one and since I had one already from Romania it just worked well in my favor and obviously if I have the skirt I also have to have the shoes so these are made in England it's like the brand is like Katesy and I'll show you in case you're looking but I wear a size 5 um, and these are like an official brand apparently but everyone in our studio has the same shoes because our studio just sells them and they're just really cute. And personally, I wish like, I know this is just like the shoe, but like, I wish it wasn't so like hard right here, but that's just like me being mainly like ballet trained, like having the flexible arches. So it's just weird to get used to like not having it like mold to your feet. But yeah, so I have my character shoes. And then on Thursday, we have company. So each member in company, or each company member is issued a notebook. So I am pre professional level one. Um, and so I'm not really gonna get into much about this, 
but basically we just have like questionnaire that they gave us and then we have like a schedule which i'll show you it's really cute i've already filled mine out but it's just like a day of the week schedule and then like a growth mindset of like instead of thinking this think this uh, because we can all start comparing ourselves and thinking negatively so it's just nice to have that and then like a page for like our goals so each member is issued one of these or not issued but given one of these and we're going to add more pages throughout the year as we work on more stuff so this is the thing that i have to have with me every single thursday i have started kind of customizing mine i'll show you by um adding little sticky notes with like motivational quotes and stuff like along the inside of here so that's just one thing that i wanted to do because at this point when we have company rehearsal it is like around six o'clock at night and we've already had two other classes and we're all very tired so when we go to open our notebooks and we go to put stuff in there it's nice to just have those like inspirational quotes of like yeah no you, you've got this <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching that is all that is in my dance bag that's all that i carry that's pretty much all that ever comes in and goes out of my dance bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my social media, which will be linked in the description. And yeah, let me know if you have any good ideas or any um, constructive criticism or really just anything, whether the comments in the comments on this video, I'm pretty sure they're turned on. I'm still working on that because I noticed they weren't. But if not, then definitely head over to my social media and my Instagram and just let me know any video ideas or constructive criticism. I'm definitely open to that and I appreciate it very much. Remember to stay positive. Love you guys.